In the famous 1963 case, Gideon v. Wainwright, the United States Supreme Court held that the Sixth Amendment right to counsel in criminal cases is a fundamental right and incorporated to the states through the Fourteenth Amendment's Due Process Clause. Conversely, the court hasn't recognized a corresponding right to counsel in civil cases. In the 1981 case, Lassiter v. Department of Social Services of Durham County, the court considered whether indigent persons have the right to counsel in parental rights cases under the 14th Amendment. In 1975, the Durham County District Court determined that Abigail Lassiter hadn't provided her infant son, William, with proper medical care. The court adjudicated William as a neglected child and transferred him into the custody of the Durham County Department of Social Services. One year later, Lassiter was convicted of murder and sentenced to 25 to 40 years in prison. In 1978, the department petitioned the district court to terminate Lassiter's parental rights. Lassiter was brought to the hearing from prison but didn't appear with counsel. At the hearing, the court concluded that Lassiter had ample opportunity to seek and obtain counsel prior to the hearing and that her failure to do so was without cause. Consequently, the court didn't postpone the hearing and Lassiter didn't aver that she was indigent, nor did the court appoint her counsel. Following the hearing, the court terminated Lassiter's parental rights. Lassiter appealed to the North Carolina Court of Appeals, arguing that, because she was indigent, she should have been appointed counsel under the 14th Amendment's Due Process Clause. The Court of Appeals disagreed, concluding that the appointment of counsel for indigent persons in parental rights cases isn't constitutionally mandated. Lassiter applied to the North Carolina Supreme Court for discretionary review, which was denied. The United States Supreme Court then granted cert.